Hey everyone, today I'm going to be making a supplementary video to a video that's about to come out uh, regarding a test between my Fax and Firearms 7.5 inch barrel and a Radical Firearms 7.5 inch barrel. Now this barrel, the one from Radical Firearms, belongs to this upper which I got from Radical Firearms in July of 2015. So I've had it for a while. Uh, this is the one that I did the review on way back when. Uh, you haven't seen it much because uh, it, it has not been performing very well uh, at, at all. And the, the more I shot it, the more I just kind of came to terms with that. Um, when, when I did the testing on this originally, uh, in the review I did for a prior employer, um, we were just testing it at 25 yards and it was still not great. Uh, for this video that's going to be coming out, I compared these two barrels at 50 yards. Um, and, well, you'll see the results from that, but, uh, you know, spoiler alert, Faxon did way better. Anyway, when I was uh, swapping out the barrels to install the Faxon barrel, I noticed that even though they're both seven and a half inches, and you may have probably already noticed this, they don't appear to be the same length. Uh, so this was obviously a little confusing. So as soon as I had them both out, I went ahead and grabbed a uh, tape measure. And I'll show you a picture with, without the parallax of, of the distance here so you can get an accurate uh, size comparison. But the Radical Firearms barrel, when removed from the gun, from the end of the barrel extension to the very muzzle end to the crown, is seven and a half inches. So technically, yes, this barrel is seven and a half inches, but that's not the correct way to measure your barrel. So, so let me go ahead and walk you through the process of actually correctly measuring your barrel, and we'll see how far off this Radical Firearms barrel is from the advertised length. So what I'm gonna do is I have the stripped upper receiver here, I have a bolt carrier and a charging handle just to be able to show this properly. Uh, I'm just going to insert the barrel into the upper receiver, which is a really tight fit, uh, just like all the Radical Firearm stuff. This thing was actually a pain in the ass to take apart. Anyway, so you can see that the barrel is properly keyed into that slot. So I'm going to close the bolt on this barrel. Uh, sorry, let me. I want you to be able to see that there is an actual bolt installed there. Okay. So now the barrel, the bolt is in the barrel extension. So what I'm gonna do at this point is take a cleaning rod like this one and insert it down the barrel. And I'm gonna go until it bottoms out, which will be against the bolt face. Okay, so at this point, it's bottomed out. What I have here is I have a little sticky note. I'm gonna try to mark it, again, bottomed out, I'm gonna mark it right at the opening. Of course, this, uh, this thing has the, the, um, the cleaning rod has solvent on it, so it's probably not gonna stick super well, but I think we can all agree, you can hear bottoming out, that is the true length of the barrel, from the, from the crown to where it bottomed out. So let's measure this. Not changing anything, just swapping hands here. So from that mark, I'm trying to do this so you guys can see it. Uh, it looks like it's just, just barely over seven inches. Uh, I'll try to take a close-up picture of that and show it to you, but right about seven inches. So this barrel that is advertised to be seven and a half inches is actually right at seven inches. So it's about a half inch shorter than the advertised length. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is take out, take off this barrel. So locking the bolt back, pull out this, pull out this barrel again, which is way tighter than it should be, and insert the fax and firearms barrel. Again, keyed into where it's supposed to be. So I'm gonna take my cleaning rod, insert it. Yep. Probably help if I actually close the bolt. And okay, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, just wanted to make sure the bolt was properly closed. Okay, so bottom out the cleaning rod. Is bottomed out right there. So I'm gonna put on my. Okay. Swapping around to the other hand, and we'll measure this now. And as you can see, this one is right at seven and a half inches, like it's supposed to be. 
So this fax and firearms barrel, which is advertised to be seven and a half inches, is indeed seven and a half inches according to the way the ATF wants you to measure barrels. Why is this a big deal? Um, realistically, for a seven and a half inch barrel, really not that big of a deal. Um, you know, if, you, if you're building a pistol, then it absolutely doesn't matter. However, what, I, what you should be aware of is when you're building a 16 inch rifle, for example, in order for it to be a non-NFA item, that barrel has to be exactly 16 inches or longer so it doesn't fall into the short barrel rifle category. Now, because I've registered this lower as a short barreled rifle with the ATF, not a big deal for me either. Now, uh, because of this discrepancy between these two barrels, uh, I went ahead and I contact, uh, I went on a Facebook group for 300 blackout owners where I see people talk about radical firearms a lot and I asked people to measure their own personal barrels and tell me if there was a discrepancy uh, between the, the advertised length and the actual length. And everyone who's responded so far, I'll, I'll make a note if, if that changes, but everyone who has responded so far has said that the advertised length of their barrel for medical firearms matches the actual length of their barrel measured the proper way with the bolt closed. So that's, that's good. Um, like I said, I got this thing almost two years ago so a lot can change in that amount of time. Um, but this is definitely something you may want to be aware of when, when you're ordering barrels, uh, especially cheap barrels, making sure that you're ordering from a company that's going to have the quality control to actually give you the, pro the product that they advertised. Um, again, it seems that they've got that figured out. However, I've never had an issue with the Fax and Firearms products that I've had. This is why I prefer, and all the builds you've seen me do and a lot of the barrel testing you've seen me do has been Fax and Firearms barrels because I know I can trust them. Quality control has been excellent and the results that I've been able to get with these barrels has been excellent. Even out of the seven and a half inch barrel, I was able to get some pretty decent groups, uh, which you'll see in that future video, which should be coming out within a couple days of this video. And I'll also have it linked below once that video comes out as well. So again, I just really wanted to demonstrate the proper way to measure the length of your barrel and show you, again, the discrepancy between these two barrels, which are both theoretically seven and a half inches. You may also notice the gas port on the Radical Firearms barrel here on the top uh, is significantly bigger. Um, a lot of the gas blocks that I've seen from Radical Firearms have been oversized, which is odd because I wasn't getting enough uh, pressure to actually lock the bolt open with one of my mags on this thing. So, but again, you'll, you'll see that in the video. Um, so if you have any questions, comments, and concerns, go ahead and throw those in the comment section below. I'll try to get back to you as quick as I can. Uh, if, if you learn something from this video, let me know. Uh, long story short though, check your barrels, make sure you're staying within uh, NFA guidelines so you're not opening yourself up to a felony uh, and make sure you're buying from rep reputable companies. Uh, so as always, I hope you're able to get something out of this video and I really appreciate you watching.